just after I went to bed last night, the wind came up, the temperature dropped really quickly, and it started raining. It rained until about 6.30 this morning, I think. But it's still pretty cold, and it's still windy, and it's still very grey. And I've got no reception here to check what the weather's going to be doing later on, so... I'm just setting off and I wasn't going to film anything today but I think actually this is quite a, quite a good sort of point to focus on. It kind of goes back to what I was saying in the video I did in Denmark about the three day hump. This isn't exactly a hump but I think this is going to be a difficult day. It's going to be cold going to be wet and I'm kind of moving between two uh, sort of official cycle paths so I'm going to be following just a road and I don't know how busy it's going to be or what it's going to be like. I think it's important to show these kind of days. Mostly I just film when it's sunny and beautiful and I'm cruising on gravel next to some epic fjord but there are hard days when you wish you'd brought gloves with fingers and you wish you hadn't lost your snood but it's still very beautiful around here and there's always little moments that you find to enjoy Well, I got back onto the main road, such as it is. It's not that main, it's just tarmac, and it's got a number on the map. It's actually quite nice to be back on smooth for a while after all that uppy-downy climbing on gravel. You know, mix things up a bit. The sky is still rather foreboding. There are dark signs at the roadside, but it's not actually raining, it's just kind of wet air, really. And I think this is me for the rest of the day, really. Just following this road in the wet air, hoping that the clouds blow away. I still haven't managed to find any data signal, so I haven't been able to check what weather's coming in. But It'll happen, up ahead. That's the way it goes, isn't it? I don't know if it's just wishful thinking, but it looks like it might be brightening up a little bit. I did get a data signal briefly, and uh, it said it was going to, although tomorrow's looking pretty bleak as well. Still, the tarmac ended, very suddenly, I'm back on gravel, but it's quite nice, good quality, slightly more level, less uppy downy. And uh, and he stole someone's dog as well. I saw him up on the hill with a farmer. And then when I stopped to check the weather, there he was, came to say hello. And then I cycled and he just ran with me until he disappeared off into the woods to bark at a tree or something. And I thought I'd lost him. And the next time I stopped to check the maps, there he was again. I don't know what go home is in Norwegian. So I made some uh, vaguely Scandinavian sounding noises. And I think that did it. It was nice. Nice to have a dog running beside you for a bit. Oh. So I think there is another main road up ahead, but I've got a few miles of this, so I think while the air is less damp, I'm going to find somewhere to stop for a sandwich. Starting to get a little peckish.
Well, I sat on a log and I had some lunch and the day's improved a little bit. The clouds are higher now than they were. And I've got a full belly and I found tarmac again. This is about the mainest road I've ridden on for days, it feels like. And there's no other cars on it, really. So I'm gonna do a few miles on this. I'm kind of freestyling it, so I'm gonna see what happens at the next junction. But it's quite a pleasant ride. I've checked maps. There's no campsites or anything up ahead, so it's gonna be another sticky night in the wilderness. And I think tomorrow is gonna be a wet one. So tomorrow evening, maybe I treat myself to a campsite with showers and stuff. But for now, you know, even though it's a bit gray, it's still really lovely. The gray kind of brings out all the greens and everything somehow. I don't know, it's all very fresh and rather pleasant. Well, my hair's even more interesting than usual. Oh well. So it seems fitting that I started the day talking about wet days and cold days and hard days. And this one has turned out to be the wettest and the coldest and the hardest of them all. It absolutely hammered it down a while ago. I took shelter, I've pitched the tent, I've rigged the fly of the tree tent over my bike just to give me some space to cook dinner in. And that is gonna be my day done. I'm gonna eat some hot food. I'm going to get in my sleeping bag and I'm going to sleep this out and hopefully wake up to beautiful sunshine tomorrow. I know that's not going to happen, but one can dream, one can dream. Um, yeah, so there you go. Hard days do happen, but you take the rough with the smooth and you keep on keeping on, I guess. Tomorrow will hopefully be drier. <laughs>